if they are wondering if they're going to fit into something, if their whiskers don't fit, they don't try. If you want to see a river otter at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore, Hudson is highly entertaining, especially at feeding time. 450 grams of fish a day. <laughs> plus uh, some carrots that are good for cleaning his teeth. But behind the scenes, it's this little girl that's making quite the splash on social media. The otter pup was found orphaned at Elk Neck State Park in early June and was brought to the Maryland Zoo for care. She's come a long way. When she first arrived here, she was just a tiny little ball of fur and she's grown to be about double in size since that time. And just so seeing that progress, we're really, really happy with the progress that she's been making. The otter pup was only about 40 days old when she was found and because she was so young veterinary staff have had to act like mom in a way teaching her everything from how to eat going from a liquid diet to small pieces of fish to how to be well a river otter including how to like water and how to swim at first some of the first times that she had a slightly deeper pool introduced to her she was a little bit nervous and would kind of test out the water with her little paw but as soon as she realized that this was her pool she has really taken to swimming a lot and she loves playing in her pool it's not uncommon for zoos and rescues to have to teach baby otters how to swim and how to hunt and how to play. The original goal was to release the pup once she was old enough into the wild. However, because she has needed so much care with more human interaction, that's now not possible. And so there's a chance that Hudson could get a new friend unless she's sent to another facility. The focus now getting her initial vaccines and expanding her environment. She is a very bold otter, um, as we would expect. She is always investigating her surroundings. If the Maryland Zoo ends up keeping the otter pup, they will be looking for the public's input for a name, so stay tuned for a pup date. Here at the Maryland Zoo, Jen Franciotti, WBAL-TV 11 News.